Alright, crew, welcome back to some more Let's Play Cryptarch. And we've got a three-way tie today for which one we're going to be doing. We have the duplex, the stockade, and the miner as our possible locations. One vote for each. So this makes this interesting because uh, that means my vote's going to decide which one we're going to be doing. So let's take a look at these and see what's in them again. It's been three days since I recorded. So for the duplex... What's our objectives? Destroy all systems. Don't use repair kits. No supply pods. That's going to be tricky. There is an advanced factory on this ship, so we're going to be getting one of the tougher ro uh, drones as well. But there aren't that many other difficult things on the ship for us to destroy. So this is, this is totally possible for us to do. This would also be really rewarding. We would earn 400,000, even more, if we don't use repair kits or supply pods on this mission. 500-something thousand. That's quite an, a good amount of money. So roughly 300 after we spent on our gear before we left. Don't use repair kits would be tough for me to do. That's always very tricky for me, because I take random hits because I'm not that great at the game. But it's possible we could still do that. We can leave with the repair kits, we just can't use them. So I could take them with me, and if things go from bad to worse, we could go ahead and use them and just say, screw $62,000, it's uh, not worth it. We have an ar arcade, we have a stockade. <laughs> this one's keep sensor jammers, no grenades, no shields. So the no shields is right out. I must have a shield. Uh, I'm not good enough at the game to fly around without them. The sensor jammer, we could possibly keep it, depending on how large this vessel is, in order to get that artifact as well. I really, really want artifacts, because they'll unlock other ships. So this one's... I'm so tempted to pick this for that artifact attempt. Sensor jammer would be tricky for us to do, though. Without knowing the layout of the vessel, we'll have to do this as if we were doing the crypt arc and fly around it looking to destroy any anything we came across as quickly as we came across it and make our way slowly to the, to the repair station first and we also can't destroy the sensor jammer so that one has to be left alone that's very tempting to do though and the miner loadout max 125k destroy all systems no shields so oof look at all those systems on this one Shuffle system, fail-safe system, nuclear destruct, two hazard systems, oh my god, a little bit of everything. Mostly melee here as well for our drones, a crypt, and I see a crypt's release melee enemies. Yeah, this one's almost all melee forces, interesting. Eight tech advances as well. So, the duplex is the easiest, I think, for me to do. Uh, the AIs in it are not that much, it's also worth quite a bit of cash. The stockade is really tempting because of that artifact. We wouldn't make anywhere near the amount of money, though. We'd probably maybe leave with $100,000 uh, over what we currently have if we do this. And we've got the miner, which would also give us quite a bit of cash, but will be tougher to do than the duplex, I think. Oh, they're also tempting. If I'm going to be honest, though, I really want an artifact. I think we have... We have enough to unlock one or two vessels at the moment. This would give us another to maybe unlock a third. It's going to be really tough, though, Tim. Look at all those flipping drone systems on this, on this ship. This is going to be really difficult. Really difficult if you want to do this one. I want it. I want that artifact. So stockade it is. Let's do it. Guarded primarily with point defense turrets, this wreck may have once contained prisoners or valuable cargo. There is a flak system on this system, Tim, so getting to the ship's going to be tricky too.
Eight minutes, 14 seconds to complete it in as well. That's going to be tricky. All right, let's take a look at the vessel first. How big is this vessel? Oh, God. Okay. This is a pretty large vessel for us to try to complete. Keep sensor jammers. There's no shuffle system on this, so I think... I think we'll just try to head in and get up into the vessel up here first. There's probably a way in here. And then grab keys, grab the tech, destroy any systems we come across as we come across them. The repair station's not too far away from us either. And this shield's very close to the core. Yeah, I think we'll try getting in immediately around here and then just sail in and try to destroy as much as we possibly can on the way. I definitely want to take out the sentry turrets. There's one there, where's the other? Ah, too far away. I have to destroy both sentry systems if I want the sentry guns disabled. We might be able to destroy the sentry, then come... No, no, Tim, no, no. You need to destroy the uh, repair system. So we're going to come in here, grab the tech, grab the keys, and hopefully make our way down this, this vessel. This could be a small scrapped area away from the main vessel. I'm looking at these flat cannons, because they hint with the, where the outside of the ship is located. There's probably a way in here. Okay. Okay, I have a feel for the ship. We're going to try definitely going in up here first. If we can't find a way in immediately here, we're going to sail down and around and try to come up near the shield. Okay, that'll be the plan. Next. Loadout time. Okay, I don't think we'll need to fix two. Uh, I think <coughs> we'll take a buffer. <coughs> I see the I see the uh, the drones that can knock us around on this, so I want the ability to be immune to that. I want a key. I really want a key for this one. Rate of fire is increased by 20%. We have a loader. That's interesting. If I want it. There's no factories on this ship, though. So I don't think I'm going to... So I don't need the... I don't need the supply. The loader's tempting for $20,000, but I think I'm a, I'm a big fan of taking multiple fix-its with me. take both of these with us at the moment. We can meet the no grenades by just saying the gas canisters instead. What do we have for other machine gun type weapons? Because this that that machine gun does doesn't not do that much damage. Oh we have the tractor beam available to us. I really like the tractor beam well for the few times I've used it. Won't be that useful against the uh sentry guns but it's useful against other enemies. No grenades Tim. Try the canister, the shield. Uh, the shotgun e EM was very nice, but I don't think we'll need it here. I don't see any advanced factories, so we're just dealing with mostly sentry systems. So I think we'll. T where's that tractor beam? It's not a lot of ammo, Tim. So, be careful if you decide to do it this way. Tractor beam is going to be useless to you against the sentry drones. And against system system. Against uh, the systems here. Maybe we shouldn't take that. Could take the flamethrower again. That was fun. So the canister, a flamethrower, and a gas cannon. Flamethrowers will be used to deal with melee enemies. Okay, we can try this. This is very expensive, though, for us, Tim. Coming in at 250 to go on the mission. You must keep the sensor jammers. And you must keep the grenades if you want to make a profit on this whatsoever. So keep that in mind. I see, and I also believe I was using this weapon incorrectly the first time. I actually kind of want to, it has a, like a max range where it kind of AOEs. I think that's what I want to do with this. So 
we'll go ahead and give it and do that. Yeah, this is basically a shotgun that becomes the blast at the optimum range of the target. See? It's amazing. Alright. We're set. We're gonna get this and we're going up to start. Alright. Let's go. Gun right above you, Tim. Key code recovered. Okay. We missed some tech. Let's go back to that. Data recovered. Okay. I see the locked door. I don't think I care about that locked door. We're going to go this way and see if we can get over here to this sentry system. Or the hazard system. We want those quickly. Uh, preferably the hazard system. So we don't worry about any more mines showing up. Okay, this just leads back outside again. I like to avoid the flak systems if I could. Key code recovered. Yeah, I do not want to risk the flak. I am not very good at dodging it, so we're going to be avoiding that if we can. Key code recovered. That's the actual uh, sentry system. Sentry control system neutralized. Right, Tim. There is a repair system on the ship. Remember that. Oh, that's a mine. Data recovered. Flew right into that one. All right, we want the repair system next. Dead end, Tim. Key code recovered. Oh, Tim, you're running right in the mines. Be careful. Oh right, it's the hazard system. We have to uh, we have to do a puzzle to solve this. Hazard system neutralized. That repair system is far away. We're here, so we might as well try to destroy the. Uh Shield generator system neutralized. It will delay the repair of the other thing for, by, for a little bit. Uh, we want this next. That's a dead end, Tim. Actually, we can just go for the we can just go for the core right now.
Yeah, we got this. We got this. Vortex call system neutralized. Nice. That went really well. We've recovered what appears to be an alien deep space probe. It's filled with navigational and planetary data. Scans collected from hundreds of thousands of solar systems. Seems to have been searching for comparable conditions to those found within the derelicts. A place they could live, maybe? Whatever this thing was looking for, it never found it. Made about 150 on that mission, all told, plus whatever the rebate is. Oh, not bad. That was, a, that was a decent amount back. All right, cool. And that's another artifact retrieved. We will never get that mission again. There's the Kryptok. Due to target saturation, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the heat locks on all your weapons. You'll be fine. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and there's an artifact available here. This is for destroy all systems. Destroy all systems. So there it is, everyone. That's our last objective. You know by now that this is the only target we have to do. We're going to get it done. The only question is, when I do it, am I going to try to destroy all the systems or not? There's no shuffle system on this Crypt Arc. So that, at least, is a relief. We have three advanced drones, three normal... I'm uh, sorry, three advanced factories, three normal factories, armoring systems, sentry, uh, sentry systems, two sentry systems, three shields, two repairs... No hazards and no failsafe. There is a nuclear self-destruct, though. A door, two alarm systems as well, and obviously the two cores. And we have a decent amount of enemies. The buffer will be taken with us absolutely for this mission. I might actually take the same thing we took last time again. All right, well, that'll do it for us. Thank you guys for watching. We will do the Crypt Arc in the next video. I will see you guys then, and take care, everyone.